welcome back to another video. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to get right down to it. Okay, we've got a Tots Shock Monster. All right, I've pulled the hair. It's kind of interesting. He, he's pretty much got carpet for hair, as you can see. All right, it pulled right off pretty easy. All right, I went ahead and cleaned it off. Alcohol, um, you know, any remnants on there, I tried to pull off the best I could. I'm not going to go crazy with it. This guy's going to stay a display piece in my house. What I'm going to do is something I've not done yet, okay? Uh, this is going to tie into a, another video I'm going to do on uh, herring and Michael Myers mask. Uh, but a little bit different way, a little bit different method of preparing the hair. Whereas before, I would take all of this roving and I would spread it all out, cut it into five inch, uh, five inch wide lengths. Right? This time I'm going to take it, all right, this is just going to be about that long. About that long right there and then I'm just gonna take it and pull it all right see what you get those natural fibers just come apart because they're all kind of interlaced like this right so they're not all that entire length of this long strand of, uh, of roving okay so there's there's one all right I'm gonna throw that down and I'm gonna get another one about the same length and it should pull apart about the same, right? Sorry, I'm trying to stay in the camera. And I'm just gonna keep doing that, right? Until I've got enough pieces, right? You gotta make sure you hold all of it, you know, kind of, kind of take it and sort of pinch it down Right, so you make sure you got it all under your thumb and then just kind of pull. Right, make sure it's not twisted because then it really wants to bind up and it's hard to pull. So take it like that. See, I've got it under my thumb, it's kind of bound up. Pull it apart. A little mustache for him. Okay, so let's just do the rest of these. <laughs> Okay, and then we end up with this last bit, and then uh, let's see, I'm gonna grab it here and here, and then that gives us, you know, kind of these two are kind of smaller than the others. Oh, the, this one's not. Well, I guess they're not too bad. They've gotten a little bit shorter near the end, but that's okay. All right, so you can see I got a big pile of big pile of hair okay and I'm going to well, let's put it right here where you can actually see right, I'm just gonna hang it I'm gonna hold on to it in the middle right just pinch it in the middle and then just gonna brush 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 okay, from the middle out okay, you lose a little bit Okay, that's normal. That's a little bit of fuzz, not even a big deal. Grab it in the middle again, flip it over, grab it in the middle again, and then okay, so each one of these will lose about a little bit of tiny bit of fuzz. And you can see this is really, really, really light stuff. Okay, so it's not you're not gonna get the hair loss like you were before. Although by the time you're done doing this pile, it's going to be a pretty good amount. So, what I'm going to do on this is, right, because we don't want hair this long, <laughs> I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut each one. Don't cut your finger off. Right in the middle. Okay. So, there we go. Now, I just did that to show you. Because all I'm gonna do is because I don't want them to I don't want those lines to get you know wobbly or wavy or anything. I'd like to keep that as flat as I can because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take that that whole big amount and I'm gonna just stick it right on there, right? So because the way we were doing it before was we had a really, really thin row, right? Really, really thin, probably like this thin. You know as far as what you're what you're setting down like this 
really, really super thin and your, your hair was really thin and you had gaps between. So what we're gonna try to do is make fewer gaps, if any. We might be able to just keep going with each one of these and just kind of fill it in, right? That's, that's my theory anyway. I've not done this before. I've kind of given it some thought. Uh, I've never seen anybody do it like this. I'm not saying nobody has. I've never seen anybody do it like this. So I'm gonna give it a shot, all right? So in the meantime, I'm gonna take all of these and I'm gonna prepare them. Uh, I'm gonna prepare a couple of them right now. Now I'm not gonna do any more, okay? Because I don't want those to, I don't wanna have a big pile of these and then the hair fibers start getting they start moving around and I want that edge to be flat, right? This edge right here that's gonna glue down, I want it to be flat. So I'm gonna just put these right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start probably from the front, okay? Uh, the other way we would do it rows, right? Cause it overlaps this way. We would do rows going up, but I'm gonna start here because I wanna control where we end up at. I have no clue how many of these it'll take to get up to here uh, at all. We may even run out of hair, I don't know. I'm not really 100% sure how that's gonna work. So I'm gonna start from here, and if I do happen to run out going back, then, you know, I'll run out back here. I can, I can have a little bit of play back here if I end up, if I don't end up stopping right where the hairline needs to be, and it's a little lower, or a little bit higher, or whatever, I can get away with it back here. It's a little, you can't really get away with it too much you don't really have too much area that you can mess around in up there. So I'm gonna start from the front and work my way back. Now, I found this vegan foam and poster board adhesive at the Dollar Tree. Okay, it's $1.25, because everything's gone up at the Dollar Tree. It's $1.25, okay. Um, I've already tested it out, because I wanted to test it out on, on uh, another mask to see how well the hair stuck to it. And the hair sticks really, really, really well. This stuff is really strong, easy clean up with water, given the flex of a mask, it does say that it stays flexible. However, however, if you give too much flex, like if I took this mask and I bent it like that, it'll start, it'll start letting go. Okay, so it, it has a little bit of movement, but not much. So this is okay for something like this, where I'm just gonna put it up somewhere and it's not, it's just gonna be a display piece. All I'm gonna do, right, is I'm gonna figure out how much of an area I need and I'm gonna take, and I'm just gonna start here and I'm just gonna go like this, all right? Smear it all around until it's nice and thick. All right, matter of fact, let's just go ahead and do a large area up here. Okay, and even if I use a lot of glue on this, or I use too much glue, it's okay because honestly, so I'm just going to go for it. I've never done this before. This is all new. All right. I'm sure some of this is going to come loose. Okay. I've got some popsicle sticks right here for these edges because I'd like to make these, these edges stick. Okay. The, the, the difficult thing about this particular hair is that it's really, really soft. And it doesn't, it doesn't have a lot of weight to push down into the glue. So you got to kind of you gotta kind of feed it down into it a little bit. All right, so, see what's happening. Okay, let's see here. Okay, and this is all an experiment anyway. You know how that goes. We're gonna, we're just gonna deal with that stuff as we get to it. Because the hair isn't very heavy, it's kind of making a mess everywhere. See, I told you we're gonna we're gonna experiment and we're gonna learn things and you're gonna see me goof up and you're gonna see me struggle and it's all gonna be part of the process. Okay, that's how we learn. At least that's how I'm learning right now.
And I think if I just take it and just kind of pat it in the middle, it'll push the insides down a little bit better. I can live with this. This is okay. All right, I'm not freaking out. If this was a Myers mask and I was doing this right now, I'd probably be freaking out <laughs> because I don't want to mess one of those up. All right, not that it's the end of the world because this this will go away with water in a hurry. Easy cleanup. Okay. Yeah, this is this is a little different. So I like to experiment, obviously. Um, let's just do this because at this point, I'm not really concerned about how it's going to look underneath the hair because the hair is going to be all over the place. It's going to be crazy. All right, so. And this glue does really hold really, really well. Without a doubt. Yeah, we should be in the middle. Okay. All right. I'm just going to keep on going in a big circle. How about that? How's that sound? Okay. Stab it on there. <laughs> Maybe that'll help a little bit. All right. So uh, I think putting it on thick like this, it can be it can be a challenge because like like I was saying before, I was considering. Now I'm kind of maybe not. I don't know because there's no way you could get away with having a hairline like that. Maybe a 2018, because you can, you know, fuss with the hair and cover it all up and no big deal. Not even, not even the end of the world at all. But on like a 78 or something like that, where the, you know, the hairline is, is more exposed, a lot more exposed. And these hair is so lofty and soft and jumps up in the air at you. It holds itself up really well, which I really like. Anyway. Um, Now, we're going to do another, we're going to keep on going here. that up, I goofed, and I let it go, so I'm going to take these and try to bring them down as best I can, like that, and then I'm going to actually do this, alright, so that's, that's better than it was, okay, so this is two, I think I'm going to do this, get two of them down at one time. really no way to make this hair do like what the other hair was because it was just a big mat of hair. It's like carpet. Basically. There's really no way to make this hair do that unless you have it mounted on to something. Um, I'm kind of trying to do that the way all this is laid out. It's like all the all the ends of the fibers are heading straight downward. So, I 
think if the end result is okay, I'll be happy with that. And I will have learned something from doing this. All right, so all I'm doing is just kind of pushing it into the glue. Uh, matter of fact, matter of fact, you know what? Let's try a different approach here. Okay, so it's gonna get a little shorter. And that's okay, I can always trim the hair up. All right, let's get this sticky glue out of the way. Now, obviously, I didn't brush these out either, so I think I'm gonna go ahead, I think I'm gonna not, I'm gonna not brush these out, okay? Each one of these I'm not gonna brush out. So what I am gonna do, though, is I'm gonna take this glue, This will probably be one of my least exciting videos because I don't actually have a plan. I mean, I kind of have a plan, but I don't really have don't really have a way out of it. So I have to proceed. I don't have a backup plan. How about that? I have to proceed with it, and I have to try to make it work on the fly. And obviously, this is a recorded video, so I could you know I could just not post it. But I'm gonna not gonna I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna post it. So, even if I get crazy, like I'm doing right here. I may get a lot of hair loss anyway, but I may get some hair loss because of not having very good adhesion as well. It's a little tacky. A little bit tacky. You still have to be careful. Okay, now I feel like I can, I can kind of go crazy with this. Sometimes you don't know until you try. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is kind of take these and grab them until they sort of, well, not too much, but they sort of mushroom out like that, right? And then just kind of stick it on there. Seems to be, seems to be working okay. You still have to kind of push it in. It's hard though, because as soon as you touch that glue, as soon as your fingers make contact with that glue, you're, you're on there. So, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick all this on. So I'm just grabbing it like this, and I'm just stabbing it on there, okay? And then I'm gonna commit to that, and if the edges aren't on 100% just yet, 
they will be here in a moment because I'm going to take another one and just jam it on there. Right? Just stab it down and then the next one, just stab it down. Then, I'll just go through and just kind of push. Okay, whatever sticks, sticks. Whatever doesn't stick, that's okay. We'll, we'll figure out how to live with that. All right, there's going to be some other method that I end up doing to make this work. This is probably going to look just fine when it's done. Um, however, I wouldn't say it's, it's the most comfortable way to do this at all. all right, so, yeah, he's looking a little, he's looking a little crazy. So we're getting to the top now. Let's so far I'm just pressing it in okay. I'm not trying to jam it in there too much but okay. see we're getting somewhere and I've still got I've still got quite a bit I've still got quite a bit of hair left right look at all that okay, so this isn't nearly like doing a Maja Myers mask so far. It's the same amount, it's an ounce. Now we've gotten where everything's covered up. All right, so I'm gonna lay all this down and I'm just gonna kind of press into it. Now it looks like a bad toupee, is what it looks like. It looks kind of ridiculous. Okay, it just it just looks kind of ridiculous. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. Get all of the glue pressed. Okay, and like I said, whatever comes out comes out. So it's okay. Um, I still have this much hair. This is an ounce. This was an ounce that I used. Think you know what? That may have been two ounces, possibly. I'm not really sure. I guess I should have measured that first. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see how that works out. I don't know if any of this stuff's gonna pull back out or not when it comes time to fiddle with it. Um, I think it'll be okay. I really do. I think it'll be okay. In the meantime, we're gonna. Leave him like that. All right, I'm gonna let him dry, and I'll come back to him, and then finish off the rest of the video. All right, so we're back. It's been about two days. I'm gonna go ahead and just start brushing this thing out. Now you remember, I put this in there in clumps, obviously. Okay, and that glue that I used that came from the Dollar Tree worked really, really well. Um, the only problem with that glue is it doesn't have a lot of flex when you. Do a complete bend at it. A bend when you do a complete bend on it like this, it'll it'll move, but it can't handle doing a, a complete hard fold like that. Uh, I tested it on another mask, and that's pretty much what I what I come up with. So it's good in a pinch. It's good for stationary things that don't require a lot of bending. Uh, I wouldn't require it on a mask that might get folded in half or anything like that. Uh, so I'm going to lose a lot of hair probably on this one you can see because all I did was pretty much just uh, lay it on there without really processing it heavily beforehand. I'll do another video on that to show you that process. But for now, I'm just going to brush the thing out and get loose and get rid of all, and get rid of all the loose stuff, all the loose hair fibers, which is really not, it's not turning out to be too bad so far. He's going to have a crazy hairdo anyway, so I'm not overly concerned about 
how this one's gonna look overall. If the hair's crazy, it's okay. It's supposed to be. It's really soft though, I will say that. I'm getting it from underneath so I can it's pretty thick, so I can get a lot of that loose stuff underneath it. Okay. Now, the way I laid this hair on actually was not a terrible idea. I don't know if that's a technique that I could use on everything, which I probably wouldn't, but, uh, you know, for something like this, it was okay. It was all right. It was worth, it was worth giving it a shot. Okay, so let's see. I do want to have some of it come forward, obviously, from underneath. And there's a couple spots in there where you know I could probably there we go. See I just covered that right up of gaps in between the little sections that I put in. Okay. There we go. Let's start pulling that kind of down into the mask a little bit more. There we go. So at this point, at this point there's still a little bit coming out. Now, it's not that bad though. I mean, for, for what I've pulled out of a Michael Myers mask, that's not bad. Okay. You're obviously still going to get some loss out of it. But. So really, I'm just trying to go for as crazy as I can get it. Uh, <laughs> I think that's, that's pretty wild. Now, the thing about this hair is, and just like any hair, uh, it's got its own characteristics this particular hair will the more the more you mess with it the more it's gonna start matting which is that's okay for something you know if you get your hairstyle to looking how you want it um, just call it good right this guy is crazy this guy looks like he's been run through the dryer <laughs> he's pretty funny looking but hair is a little more full than it looked. It's quite a bit more full, actually, than it looked as, as the stock hair. And I'm just trying to separate all that fullness. Just kind of spread it around. Right? And that's that's it, really. I mean, you're going to get some loose stuff. I could, probably, I could probably mess with this, fiddle with this quite a bit, and get all kinds of loose stuff out of there. Um... start pressing it down pressing it down and the more I mess with it the less soft it looks right the more compact it starts to get the fibers start to kind of mash together and at this point as crazy as that looks I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it good I'm gonna call it hair I didn't expect this to turn out incredible like a Michael Myers mask or anything like that but I think that's great I do I think that's great I like it I think it looks better it looks better than this hair right I mean this is it's you know this this stands up straight and all that this looks more I mean you can do more with this this hair just it is what it is you know this hair you could lay it down flat if you wanted to you know you could mat it down smooth if you wanted to 
which over time that's what will happen to it right it'll the more it gets messed with the more it gets touched the more things get put around it or in bags whatever you know it's i i, I like it for what that is right and this was just an experiment uh, this is really good glue it it hangs on really 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 well i mean it's it's not that's not coming off i think this kind of glue would be uh would be really good for uh anything i mean it, it sticks to it sticks to the latex i didn't even i didn't even do anything with this ahead of time to get it really ready at all you know i, I wiped it down really good i cleaned it off really well but i didn't really do much more than that so that's that's what i've come up with on that guy right there see i'm still losing a little bit of stuff here and there um i guess if you wanted to you could get crazy and you could you could maybe even give him a part right maybe because they got that scar right there maybe it's even possible to Give him a hint of a part, maybe. All right. I mean, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be the most beautiful thing in the world, but I mean, I th I like that. All right. It looks messy. It's it's funky. It's that's just how he is. That particular mask is supposed to look funky anyway. All right. It's an old old style, old school style. But that's that's the hair, right? That's a quick and dirty method of putting hair on a on a mask. You know, it looks like he's just ready to party, <laughs> right? So that's all I wanted to show for that guy, right there. I, I was glad to see that that worked. Jamming that on there, I wasn't sure if this glue was going to hold in large clumps like that or not, as I put each one on there. But it worked out well. It really did. It really worked out well. This is not going anywhere. <laughs> so if y'all ever y'all ever get over to Dollar Tree um, this is beacon foam and poster board adhesive this stuff is great it is it's great uh, I would recommend this for all kinds of projects uh, I may test this out on other things to see how it works um, it seems to stick really really well to this I mean there's there's no issues on that at all so anyway that's all I'm gonna move on to the next video and I appreciate you guys watching and I hope you had a had a good time and I hope you learned a little something. I did. Yeah, it's always fun to learn. We're gonna learn together. So, all right guys, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.